Hello, hello. Yes, I'm filming two videos in a day because I was lacking, but there were two things I wanted to talk about. Um, so this is technically day nine, and I had an incredible transformative um, experience yesterday. I went up to Santa Barbara with my little brother, and we first, you know, went to the beach, went on a hike, and I was so sad because I was dealing with a struggle between me and, and my ex, and it was really, really hard for me. Um, I have a lot of attachment and abandonment issues, so this breakup in particular was really, really hard for me, um, and it's still hard for me, and feelings still come up, but we went to this seminar, or this like little talk, I guess, at the meetup, and they talked about Huna healing, which is a, um, a cultural Hawaiian Polynesian form of healing and connecting to the self. So obviously that's like the whole goal in doing these videos and just, you know, doing the detox and all that stuff is to connect to the self and help me manage my emotions and, you know, all that stuff. Um, and also, so I did the Huna healing and then they kind of, I mean, most talks about, you know, self-connection, they kind of touch on the same topics. So in Huna healing, they talked about that you have your higher self, which is your spirituality and your connection to the divine world. Um, your middle self, which is rationality, logic, um, no feelings exist really in the um, middle, middle um, self. And then the low self, which is where all your passion, creativity, um, and all your feelings reside. So the goal is to connect your middle self and your low self so that you can obviously have rationality and feelings and together that creates, you know, obviously the perfect combination. So it relates a lot to a therapy that I'm in called DBT. It's dialectical behavior therapy, but we don't refer to them as high, middle, and low self. We refer to it as um, emotional mind, logical mind, and wise mind is when they come together. So that would, I believe, would be the higher self. Um, and so yesterday, like I've always gotten understood the concept of emotional mind. Like I, I run pretty like 98% of the time from my emotional mind and not my rational mind, um, which can cause a lot of issues because sometimes emotions are, they need to be rationalized a little bit because they're not logical and they don't make sense. Um, but with Huna healing, they look at the lower self, so the emotional mind, as, I guess, another person. Like, it's the, it, the person is really you, but a way to, like, di directly um, talk to this emotional self is to look at it as a person, to name it, to um, look, a lot of people look at it as a, as a little kid. I realize that mine, I look at like a baby. Um, it doesn't know any better. All it can remember, you know, is trauma and things that it went through with its parents. So all of these emotions and feelings, they come up to the surface and they don't know how to handle it. So it needs me, the middle self, to be able to say, it's okay. You know, I'm your companion. I have you. You're safe. And at first it sounded so crazy to me. And I was like, there's no way I could talk to my low self like it's a human being. Like, that's ridiculous. But on the drive home, I just burst in tears. I was not happy at all. Um, I couldn't imagine letting go of someone that you love simply because it's not working. That didn't um, resonate with me at all. But I realized that the reason why I felt that way was because I was relying on this outside um, object or person to make me feel fulfilled and make me feel worthy and make me feel good about myself. But obviously that's incorrect because the only person that's through everything with me is me and my low self. So I started driving and I was just, could almost not drive, like almost had to pull over, hysterical. So I decided to give it a shot. Um, another thing I learned from DBT is loving kindness. So, you know, you send loving kindness to other people and then you send it to yourself. So, you know, like, may I be at peace? May I experience joy? May I experience true love? May I feel safe? Et cetera, et cetera. Whatever you, you need at the time. So on this ride home, I put my hand on my chest, near my heart, you know, and I had to keep repeating, like, it's okay. 
you safe because I have you, I have your back. The only person that really has your back is yourself. And I had to just keep repeating it. Like, I am safe. It is okay. Like, we're going to be fine. We are okay. And I envision in my mind me rubbing, like, a little baby's stomach and, you know, pinching its cheeks. Like, it's okay. I've got you, honey. You know? And it, and it was funny because it was, like, this um, deja vu almost because I, the day before, I had visited my dad. And I have a little brother. And he's, you know, young. And his, my stepmom left the house and he um was you know fussy and he would run to me for comfort um and i like i don't visit them that often and he's a baby so i don't feel like i know him that well but there's something i guess about my spirit that can make people feel comfort so if i'm capable of making a baby feel comfort then i can make this low self of mine feel comfort just by being me and being myself and allowing myself to feel and saying, hey, oh, I'm sorry you're feeling anxious right now, but it's okay. Thank you for bringing that to my attention, but there is nothing to fear here. You know, it's okay to feel that. It's okay to feel afraid, but there's nothing to be scared of right now. And if there is something to be scared of, oh my God, thank you for, for bringing that to my attention. Now we can deal with it together. So it sounds silly, but I'm telling you, try it. Like it was, and this is the crazy freaking part that makes me so excited to tell you guys this. I have been struggling. Like you heard my first, my first video, if you watched it, I have been struggling financially. I've been struggling with every aspect of my life. And I, I was able to calm myself down. And I was like, wow, I actually feel okay. And then literally like two seconds later, I got a text from a friend of mine saying, hey, my friend is going to hire you for a um, for a gig. So there's something, and it's, it's food styling, which I love. And then I also got an email from someone who I'd been waiting to hear from to become a farmer's market rep because I want to have a homestead and I want to get more involved in the farmer's market and organic produce and those type of companies who create those products. And she was like, oh, my God, you seem like an amazing candidate. Come on in for an interview tomorrow. So now I have that interview today. Um, and it's just crazy. Like, the moment that you connect to yourself, all of these opportunities just start showing up. And I've always known that. And I always lived in that place. But for a while, I was just taken outside of myself because I was so focused on this relationship. And even though it was unhealthy and I was reacting to him in fear and I will say that I probably, well, I was the one who ruined the relationship. I will be honest and take responsibility for that. But it was not because I was mean or it's not even because I thought he was a bad person. It was only because I did not know how to handle my fear. I did not know how to allow fear to come up, to rationalize it, because there's no proof of any of the things I was afraid of, and then be able to calm myself down. And now that I'm learning those skills, I feel really good. And it's been four days since we broke up. So it's not like that. It's not a lot of time, but I know that I'm going to get through this and I'm going to be okay because I have myself. And I just hope that you guys, um, and now I'm getting emotional, but I hope that you guys can um, try it. You don't have to tell anybody if you think it's ridiculous. It seems a little ridiculous, but give it a shot. Because I you know, honestly, I like being able to call my emotional mind something and look at it as like this separate, but connected entity just really helps me it just really helps me and I think it'll help you guys too so give it a shot if you give it a shot please let me know how it goes like this is a journey that we're all having we're all having this journey to connect to ourselves and maybe some of us haven't even realized that that's something that would be beneficial to our lives yet but we're all taking that step we're all taking those steps and I think we should go through it together and talk about it because it makes it easier it makes it so much easier so thank you for watching. I'm very, very excited about what my future holds. And although like I have to go through horrible dark times, I know that there's light at the end of the tunnel. So I'll see you guys tomorrow.